today I am designing, uh, designing, editing, editing uh, an image from one of my recent shoots and I call this shoot Flower Bomb for obvious reasons uh, and it's just all about as many floral, flowery feelings as possible. It's ethereal, it's fine art, it's painterly, it's all the different things that we love. Uh, I've already done my colour grading in Lightroom, so we're just doing our edit and refining the image. Uh, we're going to do a bit of contour, we're going to do a little bit of colour management. Um, overall, kind of love where it's already at. Uh, we've got a few little things to remove, so let's get to it, shall we? So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove some things. So I want to remove this stem down here. Oops, let's put that on 100%. I want to remove this stem down here. Uh, and I'm going to tidy up the hair a little bit up here. Uh, and this tiny leaf here, I don't, it doesn't bother me too much, but it's like a bit blocky. It's not really as leafy <laughs> as the other ones. So they're the things I'm going to look at removing. We're then going to do a little bit of contour and a little bit of playing after that. So first thing, let's go in and remove this. I'm going to firstly select and just do a simple patch tool drag across. And then for this section here, I can probably get away with content wearing. So I'm just going to hit delete, content aware. Perfect. Already gone. Let's have a go with this bit down here. Delete content aware. Added a slight lump to the skin, but actually that's totally fine. Let's figure that out. There we go. So that is that removed. Nice and simple. Now let's go over to the clunky leaf. Now I'm going to grab this. Uh, you know, let's do content aware, see what happens. That wasn't that bad. I expected that to be a lot more smudgy. If I just clear that up. Yeah, that's actually okay. Let's just create that bit, another bit. Okay, I thought we were gonna have to uh, generative fill that, but that was totally fine. Awesome. Okay, so let's have a look. We're going to tidy up a little bit of the hair. This this hair is annoying me, so I'm just going to go in, patch tool over here. I don't want to tidy up all the hairs, just the ones that are sticking out a little bit too much and bugging me a little bit much uh, because I want the hair to be natural. I basically want this line or maybe this line to be still there. So I'm going to content aware here, drag these bits across. Ooh. Nice smudge, let's sort that out. And that's pretty much working. I'm not gonna make it exactly to the line because that's unrealistic and no one would believe it. So it's just so it comes over a tiny bit. Perfect. Okay, absolutely loving that. So let's do a, a basic skin edit. <clears throat> now she doesn't really need very much uh, skin wise. So I want to make an edit to add glow because I want this to be quite a glowy finish and a more painterly feel. So what we're gonna do, we're going to duplicate our layer four times. Our top layer, we are going to go to other and high pass. And I'm losing my voice, you can totally tell. <coughs> oh, sorry. So I'm gonna go to high pass. Now what we're looking for is uh, the detail but not color. So that would be too much because we can see a little bit of color in here. So I'm going to go down to about there. And I'm going to click OK. We're going to stick that on overlay and then we're just going to turn it off and forget about it. Next layer down, filter and blur, surface blur. Can't remember what that is apparently. And let's see where we're at. OK, so it's done a blur. This is for just the smoothness of the skin. I want a bit more. Now, obviously, last time I did this, my radius was lower. It was probably an image that where she was further away. So I'm going to whack that radius up because now we're dealing with uh, a bigger face. And I'm going to click OK on that. Let it do its thing. Then we're going to combine the two layers. So I'm going to turn my high pass layer back on. And with my surface blur layer, I'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit. Uh, to there, grab all three of those top layers, stick them in a group, add a mask, invert the mask, and now with a simple brush that is on white, I can draw that color, uh, color, that skin edit 
over any area I want to apply it to. And because I've still got all those layers in that group, I can go back and customize that whenever I want to, uh, to be able to make it more soft, less soft, uh, increase the texture, like whatever I want to do with that, I will be able to go and play around with it. Okay. Always remember when you do a skin edit to carry it on to any part of the body that you can see. Otherwise, it will look very, very weird that you've got a very textured arm and a smooth face. Uh, you've no idea how often we see that. And ooh, quite happy with that. Quite happy with that. Perfect. Okay. I love that glowiness. I think that's done a really good job. <clears throat> For what I'm trying to do, achieve here, I think that's actually pretty much perfect. I don't feel like I need to change very much at all on that. So let's have a look. I'm going to add my contour now. So let's go Control Shift N. We're going to go down to Soft Light. Tick the box for 50% grey. And then using my Dodge and Burn, I'm going to add a little bit of contour. Now I'm just adding a little bit of highlight under that cheekbone, down the bridge of the nose, and on that bottom lip. I'm then going to enhance the contour just where the light is already hitting. I am not looking at over contouring. I am just enhancing the light that is already there under that cheekbone, uh, under the lip, in here, across the brow a tiny bit, and then around the arm just to shade that down. And bring the dodge back in just into the arm there perfect so let's turn this off and on and see what it does it never feels like you're doing a lot and then you turn it off and on and you're like whoa that's done loads perfect that's absolutely gorgeous and then i'll choose my opacity to where i want that level to be now using that layer i'm actually going to go in and do the eyes a little bit but i'm going to just bring up the highlight under the eye just the tiniest bit on there from my reflector. So I'm going on this. That would be this. Uh, actually, I think I can do that catch light a bit more. Perfect. So now I've got this layer. You can either do this next bit on another grey layer or carry on on the one you're on. Depends if you want to go back and adjust the skin edit. Uh, I'm going to carry on because I'm fine where I am. Um, but you can draw on the flowers and just contour exactly the areas that you would like to go darker, to go lighter, just how you'd want to create it. So it's just enhancing that a bit more. Let's paint in here. <clears throat> paint down here. Turn that down a bit, turn that up a bit. Perfect. Now with my color grading, we've got a little bit of redness just to the side in the in the ear. So I'm going to just tone that down. I'm going to hit Control Shift N uh, and we're going to hit my brush and I'm going to grab a nice light color from over here and just paint over it. Change that to hue and you'll see it just changes that color in. If I do it over the lips, you'll see it's changing the color. Anything that's slightly red, it's bringing into a, an orangey tone and then I can tone that down. Fantastic. I love that. I'm just going to do a scan round. Uh, these hairs over here are kind of bugging me. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Go down here. There we go. I don't mind the hairs being there. There's this hair here. It's bugging me. This one's annoying. It's just going to look like a scratch on a print. I love doing these shoots. It's just like my happy place. For creativity is props and just beautiful images that aren't really for any purpose <laughs> they're just done to be looked at and gone that is pretty <laughs> and that is it that's what i like a few threads on here there we go and perfect I love that. I love the colour grading I did in Lightroom. So the colour grading was already really nice. Uh, I've no 
issues with that whatsoever. I think that works really well. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you know what? There's one flower that's now bugging me <laughs> now that I've zoomed out. Just this blob here. Just this little bit was bugging me. You can find stuff all day, though. You can just stare and constantly find things that are going to bug you. Yeah, perfect. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, such a good shoot. Had so much fun. It was brilliant. So thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys next time.